great game on the menu tonight, folks, between the LSU Tigers and the Texas Longhorns. Number three is one of the players we anticipate will be getting a lot of minutes tonight. He's a coach's dream, Brad. A scoring machine and a solid defensive player rolled into one. The Longhorns will clearly rely on him to make contributions on both ends of the floor. The Longhorns are in for what should be an easy one tonight, Dick, but how do they stay interested enough to win this game? Interested enough, Brad. They still have to do the following things. First, I look for the point guard to be in control of the team out there. He's got to be the leader. He's got to be the boss. He's got to be in command. Secondly, reward your big man for working hard down low. Get him the ball, baby. If he has position, get the rock to him immediately. Finally, win the battle on the glass. That's going to be huge tonight. Boy, that stat at the end could be a big one. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court and let's get the action underway. Misses the third shot. That'll give him a second chance. They'll work it around the arc for the bucket. Perfectly executed. Instead of giving him that, he's a foul. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any opening. Pressure in the basketball. Goes up for two. Gets it to go. This defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. Off the rim and no good. For two, knocks it down. Moving it around the perimeter. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Launches the three. Not this time. Bowen was a highly talented recruit, if my memory serves me correctly. He was highly recruited out of high school. Hopefully he'll continue to develop and really blossom into something special. And the fans here are loving the action. It's crazy in here, Brad. Looking for a good shot. There's a bad pass right to the defender. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. He can't get the J to go despite running off the nice screen. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Braxton picks up the foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Gave it up. Bowen handles the pass. He shoots from the top of the key. He gets the board. Trying to feed the low block. Steals the pass. Pushes it up. Conti is fired up and ready to go. Hey, Brad, I love players. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. On the inside. It's not uncommon to have a few high risers on your team these days. The game has definitely changed in that regard. Adam, momentary look from three-point land. He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. They work the perimeter. Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. Tries for two. That's good. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. He takes a three. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. He's obviously carrying his team, Brad. His teammates need to follow his lead and join in on the action. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. 
It's even more important to have talent for guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Here's the replay. They go into the low block. Controlling the ball. They say forget about it. And then he does a little dribble and act here and turns it over. He keeps his dribble as they reset. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. Arm and foul. Post flasher is open. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. LSU have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. We got a good one going. He puts it up way off target. They work it around the perimeter. Lawson pump fakes. Count that as a personal foul. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Two shots. He hits the first shot. Now trying to feed the low block. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? For the bucket. They still don't score. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. Now they work it around the perimeter. They work it around the perimeter. He dials long distance. There was no doubt about that one. The center has gone wild. Boston, Texas is going crazy, baby. There's the pick. There's the roll. They move it into the front court. Top of the circle. Sinks the shot. the dribble gives it up there's the trap foul charge oh and look at the crowd and look at the reaction I did the whole fans are going crazy there's jubilation Conti receives the ball down inside they get the ball down low, and he hips up with his man, and down he goes. Hey, Brad, that's a flop. That's Mr. Flop right there. Don't call that, baby. Entry pass in the paint. Thinks about the shot. He goes with a jump hook. Dick, they really need to get something going in a hurry here. Yeah, call a timeout and get your boys into the game, Brad. Way out on top, controlling the ball.
Dickey really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And he'll kick it back outside. He takes the shot. Scorches the net. Looking to move it around the perimeter. The shot from the baseline. Off the rim and no good. He puts it in with contact and all. Working it around the perimeter. And the ball goes out of bounds. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Brad, before the game, the coach stressed to me this could happen. He told me it's so important for the supporting cast to get involved and not really rely on their one player. Right now, he's trying to get everyone on the bench on the same page. He buries it. Entry pass in the paint. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Gave it up. The center handles the feed. Ten seconds to shoot. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Looking for a good shot. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. LSU are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Long lead pass. Up and inside. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He tries the three. It sticks. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. The Tigers are mostly known for their prowess with a pigskin as opposed to the hardwood. And their football program's been successful over the years, but Hoops is making a name for itself. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. They work it back to the outside. From the top of the circle. He tickles a twine from three-point land. Steele, go up the other way, get a layup. He uses the shot fake. Pull-up jumper from way out. They're nailing three balls at will right now. They're really hurting them with the three-point shooting. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Is this home court advantage or what? Paul oh, comes up with it. I think they're trying to make a statement. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. High post flashes. The power forward receives the pass. The skip pass is picked off. Trying to draw some contact. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. 
Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Now they work it around the perimeter. Obvious foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. High post player flashing. From the baseline, way off target. He gets the shot to fall. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Time to pick up the defense here now. Off the rim and no good. He nails the shot. And a momentary look from three-point land. Way off target. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that ball. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. With the free throw. Gets it. Makes those free throws count. Let's go back on that campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. They work it around the perimeter. screen looking for a good shot for two the student body appears to be pumped up and they are ready to explode oh yes the student body always full of comedy and excitement up fake Has it rejected? Defense did a great job with the block shot. Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. They'll work it around the arc. He attempts the trifecta. He nails the bucket. Takes the shot. Tries for two. Great shot. Let's see if the replay does that any justice. He goes for three. Off the rim and no good. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Turnover City now will always really negate any offense. It's good. Shoots from the top of the circle. Perfectly designed, perfectly executed, easy basket. For the bucket. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. He looks for three, makes the shot. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He gets the rejection.
base it. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. There's the fake. The fans start to chant. It really is something, isn't it? Looking for a screen on top and got it. For two, perfectly executed. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He comes away with it. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Feed the low post. Tries for two. Drains it. For the bucket. Can't get the shot to drop. Looking for contact. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Goes up for two. Doesn't go. Boy, terrible execution on offense. There should be an easy bucket here. And the fans love it, man. They love it. Our house, baby, our house. Up and inside. And a momentary look from three-point land. Overplays on the pass, and he didn't get the steal. Oh, he's humiliated. Poor job defensively. it inside and he tries a drop step defensively nice job oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot now the turnaround jumper can't get the shot to go tries for two I love this guy hook especially when you get great post position on the interior Top of the key. Way off target. At the end of the first half, the Tigers lead by nine. This one's been a nail biter so far, Dick. What play do you think set the tone in the first half, in your opinion? This trifecta was the key for me, Brad. It opened up the game in the first half. It'll be interesting to see if they can keep up the outside shooting in the second. We're about ready to start the second half, Dick. Let's go down and see how this one unfolds. Texas came up short on the rebounding end in the first half, that's for sure. And the ball will continue to bounce towards the opposition as long as they fail to seal off and block out their guys. 
Start of the second half, Dick, our focus player update. What's he got to get done in the second half for them to win? I would run them off screens on the right and left. I would set screens and have them pop out to shoot that trifecta. Oh, right, right there, they missed him inside. You got to get the ball when a guy is open. That's a special art, feeding the post. Here's the toss back out for the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. For the bucket. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Working around the perimeter. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Looking for a good shot. Tries to get the D to bite. There's a high screen. He is just lighting it up, Dick. He's beating his man to the spot and hit the shots, Brad. Takes it off him. Oh, what a great job transition. Offense, poor job defensively. Don't get back, don't stop the ball. And they were allowed to convert, get the number game going. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. The ball goes out of play. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. I tell you, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots, good opportunities? The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. He takes the board. He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. That's a 7-0 run. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Easy one. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. And they get the turnover. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Definitely a foul. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. From right at the circle, Lawson dials long distance. Trying to draw the foul. Basket falls despite the contact. Fakes the jumper. Now the turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. Ah, oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. If I'm coaching, he's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> he's pounding the ball in the deck. Where's he going? He shoots from the top of the key. Wow, what a super job of running his man into the screen for that sweet jumper. Looking for a good shot. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. On the dribble, gives it up. Moving it around the perimeter. Takes away the pass. This should be an easy two. For two. 
And he scores it off the glass. Looking to move it around the perimeter. On the instant. Ooh, look at the shot block. We've got some contact. Nice hops. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Stolen away. The ball goes out of bounds. Nick, look at the number of points off turnovers. I'll tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. Lobs it. Puts it up, looking for contact. Drops the bucket despite the harm. They're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. I tell you, does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Here's the screen up on top. The shot won't fall. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Jump hook from the low block. I tell you, great shot. I, I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Picks off the pass. Unloads a three. Sinks the shot. That's nine unanswered. Look at these fans. They're loving it. You're right. The student sections, the bands, and the crowd are always urging their team to victory like a sixth man. Dump it inside. Unloads. He hits it. We get another look. Good job defensively. He's trying to see if there's an easy one out there. The Longhorns have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Now he's on fire. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you what, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. He unloads a three. That's good. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. He's a one man show at the moment. He can't get any help from his teammates. From the top of the circle. Awesome job of running his guy into the screen to get off that J. <laughs> On the outside. Tries for two. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Now they work it around the perimeter. The offense gaining great post position that low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle. A poor job defensively. No help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Texas is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. 
working it around the perimeter. He shoots from left of the circle. Man, he used that screen to perfection. He used it to get free, baby, for the good luck. Picked off. From the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. They work the perimeter. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. For the bucket, he shows the sweet touch. That's a seven-zip run. Got the high pick. They let him get into a rhythm. And the ball goes out of play. On the outside, he throws it up from downtown. He's money with the shot. Steals the pass. Gave it up. Jumps in. Braxton makes the finger roll. The Longhorns are trailing by 10. Here's a spin down to the low block. I think he's got a variety of moves. Use the sky hook, the jump hook, and now a spin move to the goal. Goes up for two. The Tigers have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. This is what you're supposed to do down lows. Go up strong. I tell you, that was great post play. Clinic 101 and how to explode to the goal. Strips the ball. Now in transition, try to score the other way. And he scores despite the half. He puts up the three ball, way off target. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. College basketball is special to me for that reason right there, Dick. It's electrifying in here. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Great play to take that to the basket. What a response. What a response. What enthusiasm. He wants the crowd to get pumped up. Dick, he is feeling it. Pump them up, young man. Pump them up. They're working around the perimeter. There's the pick. He gets the bucket.
play about ready to resume. Picks off the pass. For two, perfectly executed. Trying to come up with a steal, and they do. For the deuce. Was that beautiful or what? Take it away. Looking for a good shot. They'll work it around the arc. Takes away the pass. With a jump hook. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries for two. The Tigers have got to continue to get him the ball. Now he's on fire. Looking for a good shot. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Pump fakes. There's a double team waiting there. The student section is all rallied up, and they are ready to battle. The student body looks like they're having some fun out there. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He'll get an opportunity to change the scoreboard again from the free throw line. Well, he created a foul opportunity. Up and in. Up and inside. the perimeter hard foul he intercepts it moving it around the perimeter up and inside he lets it fly Texas have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Listen to that reaction by the crowd. They're loving it. What a reaction, Brad. The fans are loving it. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post player. For two. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Jumped in front to take it away. For the bucket. He gets that one to fall. That's worth another look. Brad, this place will be deafening if they can score here. The small forward with the ball. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. 
Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He'll visit the charity strike. First shot is no good. They haven't been able to put it in from the line all night. Hey, this is how you win ball games, guys. No doubt. Makes his third. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. And again, they look to run. For the deuce. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. Finger roll. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. And the ball goes out of bounds. The point guard takes the pass. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Looking for a good shot. He shoots from the top of the circle. He nails the long-range bomb. On the outside. He takes the shot. He kept the ball on the floor and waited for his teammate to set that screen for the sweet jumper. Boy, that was beautiful. Takes it off him. We got a timeout on the floor, and with that, let's go courtside to Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their teams down. With this much time remaining, they're stressing play smart basketball and take care of the ball. Thanks, Aaron. We're ready to get back to the action. It's down to a one-point game, Dick. Yes, sir. This is where the big boys start to play, Brad. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. It's stolen. Turnover. Great job knocking the ball loose, then chasing it down. Dumps it in. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as you know, points in the paint is a stat that coaches will readily look at, comparing their team's dominance in this category with opposition. Establishing that inside presence is an important facet of consistent success. All right, thanks, Aaron. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times, you know, great post play, you got a chance really to win. Might see a little different look this time, Dick. You never know what's coming, Brad. The small forward gets the pass. Here a five-second call forced by that determined defense. And again, let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A.
Trying to execute on the inbounds. Tries for two. Nope. Wide open for the shot. He tries the three. Rims out. And we're going into overtime. Hey, I hope you plan for a late dinner, Mr. Nestler. At the end of the second half, it's a dead heat. These teams are going into overtime. Overtime is on, baby. This one might go down to the final buzzer. In close games like this, Brad, offensive and defensive execution is very important. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. Gave it up. The power forward takes the feed. For two, sinks the shot. That's spacing. Here they come with a double team to stop it. For the bucket. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. The center gets the ball. Working it around the perimeter. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. For the deuce, sweet looking shot. He is super, he really is. Work it around the arc. He shoots from downtown. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. He's doing it all right now for this team. It'll be interesting to see if he can keep this up. They work it around the perimeter. He puts up the tray. He makes the shot. We'll show you another angle from the booth. Tries the turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Let's see the replay. Here's a nice face up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked him and took it to the basket. the ball and his shot rejected up and inside Braxton makes a great move to draw the foul let's slow it down on the replay the line just like in practice here's a block from behind my man was on a mission the ball goes out of play there's a look at the timeout situation Hey, some people like to call it game management, Brad. Knowing when to use timeouts is an art. Also, team fouls. Defending without fouling is always important. Ten on the shot clock. In the paint. Oh. 
He attempts a jump hook. I'll tell you, a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. On the outside, picked off. For two, the Tigers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Timeout. Let's check in with Aaron, who's standing by. Well, Brad, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their players down. I'm sure they're anxious, and they may be a little frazzled. Let's see how it all works out, guys. All right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. It'll be interesting to see the level of energy, Dick, when they come out of this timeout. But inside. Picks off the lazy pass. For the bucket. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. Sets the screen for his teammate. Steal. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from the top of the key. It's all about scoring here if they want a chance at winning. like we're ready to step back out onto the court. The lead is six. Hey, a tray here in this place will go absolutely bananas, Brad. I can feel it. Gave it up. He shoots from the top of the circle. You need to create as many possessions as possible, so keep falling. Nick, look at the number of points off turnovers. I tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Looking for a good shot. They work the perimeter. That's a very important possession. They got to score to stay alive. Perfectly executed. Well, Dick, it looks like they're going to spend a little bit of time fouling right here. They have to foul in order to stop the clock, Brad. Well, Dick, what's the backcourt situation looking like to you? I tell you, Brad, guard play is such a huge part of the college game. Can't win without great guard play. Backcourt play dictates your team's success. Their play must be steady, consistent, controlling the tempo in a game, distributing the ball, scoring, and pressuring on a defensive end. They are all characteristics of having a solid tandem in a perimeter. Working it around the perimeter. He throws it up from downtown. Buried it. And yet another foul. And here's a look at the foul situation. Well, Brad, following and knowing when the foul is an important part of the game. If you have fouls to give, sometimes it's better to commit one rather than giving up an easy basket. Second shot, no good. T.O. called. Hey, we got a burn burner here, baby. I'm thinking last second shot for the win, Mr. Nestler. Back to the live action we go. And we're back to a two-point game. Takes the pass in the paint. Double team down, bad angle. Texas loses a heartbreaker in overtime. After a loss like this, you have to question their ranking. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners, Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.